What's up guys, today's video we are eating viral fast food items for 24 hours. As you guys know with social media, there are so many fast food items that really pop off on different platforms that people just absolutely rave about. So I want to test out a few of them and see if they are actually worth the hype or not. So the first place that we are going to is Popeyes and we are gonna be getting two items from Popeyes actually. The first item that we are getting is the blackened chicken tenders. Have you guys heard of these? They have really been popular on social social media and I have been dying to try them. And then we're also gonna get their chicken wings. I think I'm gonna get the sweet and spicy flavor. This has definitely been the most popular flavor that I have seen on social media. It's been the most raved about from what I can tell. So yeah, hopefully these items are good. Hopefully they are worth the virality around them, but I will see you guys over at Popeyes. All right, you guys, we've made it to Popeyes. I'm gonna be honest, I almost never have a good experience at Popeyes, but I've never been to this location before and I actually think it's a little bit of a newer location, so fingers crossed it goes well. Thank you for the popcorn, I'm gonna take the order. Hi, yes, um, could I get the blackened chicken tenders, please? Do you want a combo by itself? Uh, just by itself, and could I get some blackened ranch with that, please? And you want that three piece? Uh, yeah, that's fine. What's the side, is three? Um, just the, Blackened chicken tenders. Oh, so you don't want the combo? No. It was the side, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what was that? The side. Um, I just want the blackened chicken tenders, that's it. You just want the blackened chicken? Alright, so ma'am, you'll have to get the dinner with that. Okay, that's fine. I'll just do, uh, okay, yeah, that works. You wanna do french fries? Um, yes, please. Alright, anything else for you? Yes, could I get the six piece wings and the sweet and spicy? Yeah. That's it? Yep. Alright, just Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Uh. Hi, how you Hi, I'm good. How are you? Thank you. Have a good day. Also, a little side note, I finally redid my nails. They are super pretty for springtime. You guys, I am so excited for spring. Who is with me? Who is ready for this cold weather to go away? Warm weather, we need you. It's a little bit chilly today. It's kind of like in the 50s, which I guess isn't that chilly, but I am ready for hot weather. Like, I wouldn't even mind having a short spring and going straight to summer. All right, you guys, we've secured our Popeye's bag. I will admit it smells absolutely delicious. I am so excited about these black and chicken tenders. I'm honestly not a huge fan of like crispy chicken. I mean, I do like crispy chicken, but I kind of prefer a grilled chicken that has a really nice seasoning to it. So if these are good, these could very well be a game changer for me. Unfortunately, the lighting is not the best today because it's like half cloudy, half sunny, kind of rainy. I don't know. It's a very strange weather, but let's see what we have in our Popeye's bag. Ooh, we got lots of sauces. Okay, we got the Blackened Ranch, which low-key, love the packaging. We also got some Buttermilk Ranch. Did they change the packaging of their sauces? They look so much cuter. Okay, I believe these are the blackened chicken tenders. We also got some french fries and I think it comes with... <gasps> Okay, I'm sorry, that looks absolutely delicious. <gasps> wow. And then we also have the chicken wings. Oh my gosh, look at this container. This container is ma- Stop. Stop, these look so good. Oh my gosh, they look amazing. Wow. They are so saucy and crispy. <laughs> Do you guys see all that sauce down there? <gasps> Oh my gosh. 10 out of 10, you guys. Wow. These are so delicious. Oh my goodness. The outside of them are really crispy, but it's like this light, airy crispiness. It's almost like they were air fried, but you know these were not air fried, but it has that light kind of air fried texture to it. 
And then the flavor of the sweet and spicy is very delicious. Oh, they actually gave me seven wings. I just got a six count, but they gave me seven wings. Okay, let's actually dip it in the blackened ranch. I will say these are a lot more on the sweeter side as opposed to spicy. I'm not really getting much spice. I'm definitely more of a sweeter flavor. Mm. With the ranch, that is delightful. Okay, can I see why these are viral? Absolutely. Service at this Popeyes was a little odd, and maybe it was just my own doing. <laughs> maybe I was being stupid, but the food hits the spot. I can't believe how good these wings are. Mm -mm 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 -mm. They actually have a sign right outside of the window that has all the flavors on it. What do you guys think? Which flavor sounds the best? I personally think I would have gone with the roasted garlic parmesan. I know the ghost pepper was, I believe, the first flavor they released. And then the signature hot is probably probably really good too. I'm actually not a big fan of barbecue wings, so I probably would have steered far away from those, but oh my gosh, so sweet and spicy, so delicious. Okay, let me cleanse my palate. Now let's try the blackened chicken tenders. This is probably what I was most excited for, but that is what it looks like. This look a lot different than the picture that I saw, but they still look very good. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I think this is undercooked. <laughs> so let me try a different one. This is a thinner piece. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's better. That is really good. I think these are a lot healthier for you too. They kind of just taste like normal grilled chicken that you can make at home, but I do like the kind of blackened texture on the outside and the flavor is good. They're very savory, especially in the blackened ranch. I will say though, I much prefer the chicken wings. Mmm, there's a Mario's pizza in front of me. I'm pretty sure someone told me to try Mario's pizza. Mmm, the fries are really good. Okay, I'm gonna actually eat another wing because these things are delicious. The flavor of the sweet and spicy, I mean, usually I'm not like a big sweet fan. These are delicious. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. They are just very messy. <laughs> I gotta tell you guys about this show that I recently watched on Netflix because it was so good. It was called Behind Her Eyes. Oh my gosh, so crazy. The ending, wild. It's very twisty turny. I would highly recommend you guys watch it if you're into like, kind of like supernatural thriller with some romance in there. Look at that chicken tender. That is funky. I was about to dip it in the sauce. <laughs> it isn't even open. Let me try this without the sauce. They definitely need sauce. Ooh. Yeah, if you get these, make sure you get sauce to go with them. Okay, well, anyways, should we try the biscuit? Ooh. Ooh, that's a good biscuit. Oh, wow, that's salty. Salty, buttery, delicious. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, Popeye's chicken wings, worth the hype. Blackened chicken tenders, I'm gonna say also worth the hype because I feel like it is hard to find options like that in fast food. So for that reason, I'm gonna say those are worth the hype as well, but between the two, get the chicken wings. <laughs> okay, I will see you guys at our next fast food stop for more new viral fast food options. All right, you guys, our next viral item is actually at Arby's, and I feel like items at Arby's don't really pop off like that, but I have seen so many people rave about this particular item and just like this menu that they came out with in general, and that is their King's Hawaiian Brown Sugar Bacon BLT Sandwich. It does look very good. The brown sugar and the bacon sound delicious together and King's Hawaiian rolls um yes sign me up those are delicious so it says that it has brown sugar bacon regular bacon lettuce tomato mayonnaise and a King's Hawaiian bun okay let's hop into the drive-thru and see if this is actually good or not hi thanks for choosing Arby's way to order when you're ready hi yes um can I get the brown sugar bacon BLT on the King's Hawaiian on the King's Hawaiian bun uh yes please all right, give me one second. Well, that that already comes on the wine bun. Yeah, sorry, I just said it really weird. <laughs> okay, so the brown sugar bacon with a wine bun, that was the BLT, with uh, the leaf lettuce, bacon, uh, the tomato, and brown and the brown sugar. Yes, please. Okay, do you want to make that a combo or just a sandwich? Um, nope, just a sandwich. Okay, what else? That's going to be it. All right, you said it'll be six ninety three. Happy to help with the window. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I don't know what is going on with me today. I feel like I sound so dumb. I said the whole sandwich and then I was like on the King's Hawaiian roll when it already comes on it, but okay. Anyways, <laughs> I will check in with you guys once we pick up the food. Guys, do y'all see this fly? The fly is trying to get into my Popeyes. Go away, fly. Hi, how's it going? Here you go. Thanks, have a good day. All right, you guys, our Arby's bag has been secured. Let me tell you, everyone's ordering these brown sugar bacon sandwiches, or at least some version of the brown sugar. Um, the person behind me ordered it. The person at the front of the line, like inside, had ordered it. So obviously this is a very popular item and I am super excited to try it. Okay, let's see. Is this lighting better? Hopefully. I kind of feel like a bum in the shirt because it's so big. But it's also so cute. I got it from Target for like $5 because it was on sale. And I was like, ah, okay, add to cart. Okay, so here is our brown sugar bacon BLT. Also need to call Gabe back because he just called me. Ooh, it's nice and warm. It's a little bit, a little bit padded down. That's probably good though because it'll make it easier to eat. Ooh, she's saucy too. She is a bit of a saucy. It's got a lot of lettuce, which makes sense. I mean, it is a BLT, so it's just bacon, lettuce, tomato. What end should I bite it from? I think this one looks pretty good. Try to... Mm. Okay, that is super delicious. It's like sweet and salty because you have the brown sugar bacon plus regular bacon, but it's also really refreshing at the same time. That bacon is so crunchy. I think out of all the flavors, the brown sugar is definitely the strongest flavor in this sandwich. So if you like brown sugar, you will definitely love this item. Okay, love the bun as well.
we do have other variations of this sandwich let me pull the menu back up um they have the blt which is what we got you can also get it the brown sugar bacon turkey so instead of regular bacon they'll do turkey or you can get roast beef which i almost got the roast beef but I think the BLT is the one that's like more viral right now. I'm assuming you can get it with fish too, but does bacon and fish go together? Probably not. But for the bacon BLT, I'm gonna give it maybe like an eight out of 10. I just feel like I can't give it a 10 out of 10 after eating that Popeyes because that Popeyes ooh, wipes the floor with this RV sandwich, let me tell you. But still very delicious. I, I really enjoy that. Arby's also has mac and cheese bites, which I think are pretty popular right now as well, but I've already tried that on the channel, so I didn't get it again. But if you guys haven't tried the mac and cheese bites from Arby's, those are so delicious as well. Let me know if you guys have tried this sandwich though, or any of the King's Hawaiian sandwiches at Arby's. Pretty delicious. I know Arby's isn't like the most popular, but it's a pretty good sandwich. Okay, well, on to more viral fast food items. All right, you guys, the next viral item that we are getting is from Wendy's, and that is their new orange dreamsicle frosty. I have seen so much buzz around this item. I think part of it is because it's springtime, and this is the most perfect sweet treat for spring. So it says, taste the sweet nostalgia of orange dreamsicle frosty. This beloved childhood classic meets the iconic cool creaminess of frosty with sweet orange notes for a dreamy orange cream experience this item is right up my alley because I think sometime last year maybe around the summertime I went through this phase where I was obsessed with those orange push-up pops the ones that I'm talking about pop up on the screen oh my god I was buying those left and right I was so addicted to them so I'm kind of hoping that this tastes like a little bit similar but either way I love orange desserts so yeah okay let's pop into the drive through and pick this new frosty up look at one news what can i get for you hi um could i just get a small size of the orange dreamsicle frosty please what size of orange frosty um a small will that be all yeah that's gonna be it five one first window okay thank you oh my goodness five oh one five dollars what that's expensive right Hi. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you too. Okay, I'm really excited about this frosty, but five dollars that kind of sounds a little bit crazy they used to not be that expensive right there's no way i feel like they used to be like three bucks back in the day i mean just for a small whoo thank you oh wait oh oh i didn't get a fry oh maybe she rung me up for one i was wondering why it was five dollars for the frosty but that makes sense okay right thank you, you no it's your... okay it's fine don't worry about it thank you your huh it's your money it's okay i'll eat the fry oh, okay. yeah it's fine yeah, thank you oh uh, no that's okay. okay thanks have a good day okay <laughs> guys i was so confused okay so now we got a small fry hold on wait let me look at my receipt really quick Okay, so the small orange frosty was actually $2.19, and then the small fry was also $2.19. Okay. Whew, that is a relief because I was about to be like $5 for this little tiny frosty. That does not make any sense, but oh my gosh, it looks so delicious, you guys. Whoa, it's, oh, it's not that orange on camera, but you guys, it is the prettiest orange in person. Okay, let me get Part. Okay, the good thing about getting a fry is we can dip the fries in the orange dreamsicle frosty and see if it's good. I love doing that, you know? I love testing out the fries in the frosty. Oh my gosh, look at our receipt. It has a little burger at the bottom and it says, mm mm mm. Alrighty. Oh, wrong bag. Okay, here it is our french fry down there and then we got our spoon which i think i'm gonna yeah just use the spoon for the frosty so i feel like the frosties at wendy's are always going to go viral when they come out with a new flavor because let's be honest the frosty at wendy's is just iconic and they really don't come out with flavors like new flavors often so i feel like whenever they do people go buck wild for them and they have to try the new flavor Plus, this one is just so pretty. You guys, it tastes exactly like an orange push-up pop. <gasps> Stop, I'm obsessed. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, this makes me miss those push-up pops. I need to go to the grocery store and buy some more. Now that it's like getting warm outside. This is 10 out of 10. 100% easily 10 out of 10. Let's dip some fries in here and see if it's good with fries. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it is. Mm hmm. So good with the fries. This is so delicious. Have you guys tried this yet? If you haven't, you need to run to Wendy's and get this. Especially if you like those orange push up pops, which maybe those are kind of like a niche thing. I don't know. I used to always like them as a kid and then I just hadn't had them for so long that whenever I got them, I was like, ooh, I love these. Mm -mm -mm. You guys, I literally had the best dream last night, let me tell you. In my dream, I met Post Malone. <laughs> And we were just like chilling on the couch together and I was asking him all these questions about his music because right now he's like kind of getting into country. I think he's actually making a country album. I've seen a few snippets on his Instagram of him making a song with Luke Combs, Morgan Wallen, which I think he already has a song right now with Morgan Wallen. Um, but he's making another song with Morgan Wallen. He also has a song with Noah, what's his name? Noah something, Noah Kahan. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but it's called Dial Drunk. Oh my gosh, such a good song. I've been listening to that song for like months now. But anyways, yeah, in my dream, I met Post Malone. I was asking him all these questions. And when I woke up, let me tell you, I feel like such a loser saying this, <laughs> but I was so sad when I woke up and I realized it wasn't real. I mean, I was happy because it was a good dream, but I was also really sad because it wasn't real. And I want to meet Post Malone so bad. I just feel like we'd really get along. <laughs> Maybe not, but I like to think in my head that we would get along because he seems very goofy and like down to earth. Yeah, I've been having honestly a lot of good dreams here lately. I used to have such an active imagination when I was younger and I would just daydream all the time and just like have random fantasies. Now as an adult, I don't really do it as often. So whenever I have a good dream, I'm just like, oh, that was nice. <laughs> I love this frosty, you guys. It's so delicious. This is by far the best Frosty they have ever come out with. 10 out of 10 for the Frosty. You guys have to go try it. But I will see you guys back here for more viral fast food items. All right, you guys. Our next viral fast food item is actually from Little Caesars. Can you guys guess what it is? Because I feel like these are so popular right now. It is their pepperoni crazy puffs. So it says crazy puffs officially arrive at Little Caesars. Crazy puffs can be enjoyed in two varieties, pepperoni crazy puffs and three cheese and herb crazy puffs. So we're just gonna get the pepperoni crazy puffs because those are the ones that are super viral right now. It says that they feature the brand's freshly made dough filled with mozzarella cheese, pepperoni, and pizza sauce topped with a buttery garlic flavored drizzle, Italian herb, and Parmesan seasoning. They look absolutely delicious. I've seen a few people try them on like Instagram reels and oh my goodness, they, they really do look amazing. I can see why they're viral. Will they actually taste good? I don't know, we shall see. I'm at Little Caesars now. I did place an online order. So let me pop inside, pick that up, and we will give them a try. All right, you guys, our Little Caesars order has been secured. They look so delicious. Delicious. Check this out. Oh my goodness, they look like little pizza muffins. I am obsessed with these. I cannot wait to try them. I also got an item for Gabe. I think this is like cheese bread or something. Yeah, I think he got Parmesan cheese bread. So that is for Gabe. I'm just gonna leave that right there. Okay, moment of truth. Are these good? Let's try one out. Anytime I see someone bite into them, I'm just like, oh my goodness, that looks so delicious. Okay. 
totally see what all the hype is about. These are amazing. Mmm. The pepperonis on the inside, oh my gosh. Kind of wish I would have got some marinara sauce to go on the side, but honestly, these are so good on their own, so they really don't need any. But, like, if you just want a little extra touch of marinara, I would definitely get some on the side. But they do have marinara on them, if you guys can tell. Mmm. definitely beware whenever you order these and first bite into them they can be very hot on the inside but the dough is so good little caesars does their dough so well it's like that really soft pillowy dough it really just melts in your mouth mm. I forgot my water and I kind of wish I would have brought a drink. Here's the top of it up close, but I'm going to eat me another one because these things are so delicious. These are 10 out of 10, you guys. Mm-hmm. 10 out of 10 for sure. This is so much better than regular pizza. <laughs> and they're honestly funner to eat, too. <laughs> I guess it's like a little muffin. So cute. Okay, I think out of all the viral items I have tried today, this one definitely scores the highest. I mean, I know I've given a lot of the items 10 out of 10, but this one is like 12 out of 10. So delicious. And in second, I would probably say those wings from Popeyes. Those wings from Popeyes were so good. Overall though, everything was delicious. So I can see why all of these items are pretty viral right now. I mean, it just makes sense. Everything tastes so good. People know what they're talking about whenever they're hyping something up. Yeah, you guys, that was eating viral fast food items. Let me know what you thought about all the items that we got in this video. And did I miss anything that's super viral right now that I need to try? Let me know if there's anything that is super delicious out there that is like pretty trendy right now. But I love you guys so, so much. Thank you all for watching. Please drop a thumbs up down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.